Okay. Ah, hello, Assalamualaikum. <clears throat> so today I'm here to discuss two words, and I uh, will actually discuss some paraphrasing technique, or not like technique is just like paraphrasing is the normal thing. You know that, and uh, you already learned that, but uh, you are feared to continue with that because. Uh, there are some people who actually demotivating you. How? Who the hell are you? Who? The, what can you do? You are not uh, made for making paraphrasing technique. Okay, so paraphrasing is like uh, you have synonyms, you know structures, just uh, add them in a sequential order, and then bang on, you are on good to go. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I actually want to discuss a word which is like yarn. And there is another word, yarn. Both uh, sound same. They are like uh, you can say that homophones. They sound same, but their meanings and their spelling are different. Yarn is spelling like Y E A R N. You can see here, arn, and here arn. Both are different. These two same, but here you have to place the a uh, in front of these three. Okay. So this is the spelling. Right now, we want to discuss the yarn word. What does that mean? Okay, if I say that why too much wheat for money earning? Okay, so you can say that why too much greed uh, for money earning? Okay, you can see the humans' nature, they are greedy by born and they want to get more okay there is a greed in human nature okay so that's how uh, you can understand the yarn word yarn is like uh, the more desires okay the more desire something getting uh, the more hunger or like extreme level of hungry you eat something and uh, even if you eat okay even though you eat more food but you're still hungry that's how everything functions so yarn is the word which is actually suggesting that you are a greed, you are, there is a greed in you, or there is a greed in human nature. You can tell anything, okay, there is a, uh, there is a yarn in human nature. So the technique is to understand that, to learn that, to use that and make sentence. Like you can say that, I have no greed for money. Okay, I have no greed for money. Okay, this is the sentence. What is like greed? So how can you actually replace that? There is no yarn for money in my heart. Okay, you can say that there is no place The same sentence I actually just paraphrase it okay there is no place for yarn in me there is no place for okay you can say that there is no place for greed I have no greed for money or I have no greed for money so, okay there is no place for greed in human uh, okay in me so you can actually paraphrase that I actually paraphrase that so you can also do the paraphrasing technique and you can apply that just stick to the meaning and just uh, understand that what does it actually uh, you can fit fit you can fix the word or you can sequentially rejig the word, arrange the word, okay, rejig is like a rearrange, okay. So that's how you can understand that, okay. <clears throat> Let's learn some paraphrase technique, okay. I have no relation with that. Stranger. Can you paraphrase it? Okay, what is there is a, like uh, the main key point? I have no relation with that stranger. Okay, stranger is like an unknown person. You can replace that with an unknown person. And relation is like there is no connection. Okay, so you can replace this no relation. Okay, if I, I can read at this word.
Bingo. You actually paraphrased that, okay? I said that uh, there is, I have no relation with that stranger. There is no connection between me and that unknown person. Both sound same, both are meaning same, okay? You can make any kind of paraphrase and uh, in terms of writing IELTS, this is the most, uh, you can say that the highest level of important thing. If you can paraphrase something, if you can uh, make it in your own words, if you can understand it in your own words, that's a very important thing in writing. So the writing is all about that. So if you read something, if you read a simple answer, so you need to paraphrase that. So if you paraphrase the whole paragraph or whole essay, you are good to go and you are uh, you can get a better score. Okay, not just like ideas. Ideas will come to your mind, but you have to make the ideas or you have to use the ideas in your own way. So that's how paraphrasing is. Uh, paraphrasing technique is used. So paraphrase is like. P R A P H R A S E paraphrase. Okay, that's all. That's all paraphrase is used. Okay. Here I, I need to discuss one thing. 